The question is in James chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. And then, and then the, when someone is sick, that the elders will come and, you know, and anoint him with oil and then, uh, and then pray for him to be uh, healed, right? And then the question is, uh, is it that some of the people... If he does not have these elders in the church, okay. he's the only person anointed in the church. Okay. What can he do? Then second, which oil is this being spoken in the Bible? Okay. okay. So the first, first question, if no elders, what? Now, let me tell you, but the elders in the Bible are not necessarily elders in some churches. Then you have the pastor and elders. In the Bible, the pastors are also elders. Okay. Katika Biblia, wachungaji pia ndio wase. So, the pastor can be doing that. Chungaji and is a fine here. Yeah. And also, uh, you know, it can be trained people in the church that they can do it too. Pia unaweza kupatia mafundisho watu kanisani, pia wanaweza kufanya pia. And then you said, what if the people in the church has no anointing or not much anointing? Pia unaseme ya kwamba, ikiwa watu kanisani hawana ule upako. What I want to say is anointing can be trained and can be, you know, exercised. You do it every every day. You pray a lot every day. The anointing can be increased. And yes. Pastors and elders don't necessarily have strong anointing. Wachungaji na waze hawakuangi na uizi nguvu ama uu pako wa nguvu. The strong anointing has to be built up with taking care of the sins and much prayer and dedication to God. Uu pako huu kuja wakati unausisha yaani unangalia kila hitaji la mshirika na pia kuwa katika maombi. Na wachungaji, ya nini, na waamini, dipo huu unguvu za upako zipati kuwa katika tie. So we need to train people in a church that they can carry the power of God and pray for people. Kwa hivyo wewe kama mchungaji, unaitaji kufundisha hawa watu kanisani ili wapebe huu upako wa mungu katika maisha. It will also make the church stronger. Na pia itafanya kanisa hiwe na nguvu. Because when there are visitors come, these people can, you know, talk with them and pray for them and then help them. Wageni wakija kama wale watu ambao hawajaokoka, hao watu ambao wamefundishwa kanisa ndio wataongea nao na waombe pia. And then you can keep the newcomers easier. Na sasa hivyo wageni wanapokuja kanisani watakuwa na amani ya kukaa katika kanisa. And they can also go as a team to visit families. Na pia hapo kanisani waamini wanaweza elekezwa kutembelea jamii. When people are more devoted to the church, that they can serve God and devoted to the church. The church will become strong. If in a church only the pastor does every work, then the people would, you know, they would just be lazy and do nothing. And the church will not be strong. So we want to build up the, the mentality of the people. When they are strengthened and healed, they want to be trained to bless other people. Because there are always needy people in the church. And if we always say, oh, you are needy, I'll pray for you. And then they would just always be needy. Okay. And then the second part of the question is about oil. You know, a lot of people use olive oil. What do you want to do with olive oil? Now sometimes I visit some families. 
Uh, I just use cooking oil. <laughs> it's not very important. Okay. But I mean, if you can find olive oil, it's good. Thank you.